Hi Gemini, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your November 2019 general reading, again for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I love y'all so much, Gemini. Y'all just make me smile. Like, y'all just make me smile. <laughs> I, I really do love Geminis. Um, anyway, so I hope y'all are doing well. As you can see, we're changing things up. Um, I've been very much under the weather, kind of off and on with my voice this week, so I thought it'd be best just to do the readings like this. We'll go back to the normal way for the mid-months and going forward, but you know, at least this way you get to see the cards, you get to see what I see, <laughs> that sort of thing. So we're making lemonade out of lemons here. So I hope you understand and that's why there's kind of a delay on the readings right now. But um, we're getting them through. Gemini, as we always do, we'll be doing your love reading. It's, I do it right after um, this reading. I use the crystal vision over there. If you want to do the love reading, it's the link in the description box below. And what we do is we look at the other person you're dealing with right now in love or romance and see how they really feel about you. We see what their long-term and intentions are for you in this connection we also look at y'all's mutual energy and then where of course that relationship or connection is headed in the future so again if you want to do that one it's downstairs in the description box below my instagram is down there all that good stuff so let's get cracking gemini let's get into it okay I had a lot of really deep deep messages in y'all's pre-shuffle okay I have an energy here for some of you that there's something about generation. Like I and I and my generation, we're not going to carry that on. Like whatever's been carried on in your family, handed down, there's a habit, there's something that is not super healthy that's maybe been going on in the family or da, 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 like generation to generation. And I keep hearing the buck stops here. Like it's stopping with you in this life in this generation okay and that some of you were chosen for that for that role and that's very deep and very very powerful okay I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that like insanely strongly like insanely strongly and it's like curating i'm hearing curating from you from your internal like soul interest you're like you know what i can make this better i have a i have you know a, you have like a, a higher perspective you are gemini you're um you are air energy you have a lot of high communication i mean you're the lovers for god's sakes you know you come from a place of love and duality you look you look at, at different angles and different um different perspectives of all different kinds of stories and, and situations right so anyways what i'm trying to say is i feel like y'all are definitely stepping into a big role right now of breaking some type of um generational something generational like i'm 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 making this stop so anyways let's get into it that's just maybe for some of you but that's what i just kept picking up over and over in y'all's pre-shuffle all right, three more shuffles. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November 2019. Did I tell you how much I love you? I think I did. Okay. Because I really do. Like, I almost started crying when I turned on y'all's video. Like, what the heck, Gemini? I mean, we are in Scorpio season. Um heavy water energy so maybe y'all are feeling very emotional all right bottom of the deck for this reading gemini is the page of pentacles beautiful earth energy some of you could have a child that's an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn or could be dealing with um, a younger or immature earth energy doesn't have to be i feel like right now this is you kind of what i was um feeling earlier with um you have some really beautiful brilliant ideas about a project or something that you want to invest in invest your energy invest your time in you're researching you're collecting data you're you're interested okay you're trying to collect and see all angles all perspectives like I was saying and you're like ready to put in your uh make your mark you're ready to do something about it right so very good all right spirit what's going on with Gemini November 2019 what's their most important message what's the most important message that Gemini needs to hear see or know at this time yeah queen of cups in reverse uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, y'all are very emotional right now. I think y'all are feeling all the feels, um, which is a little, 
I'm hearing a little different for y'all. Y'all usually aren't super emotional because your air energy, you're, you're usually a little bit more logically mind, right? But there's something right now, and I will have to say, again, I feel, because it's we're in Scorpio season, water energy, that there's stuff coming up from the past, and when you think about it, you're just like, oh my God. You know, like you're just, you get upset, or maybe you cry or whatever, but it's... um. It's okay. It's a, it's a part of Scorpio season. We're all going through that, right? We're all going through that. So don't feel alone. Please don't feel alone. Woo! All right, what else is going on with Gemini? Spirit, what else is going on for Gemini? What do they need to know right now? Star in reverse. Yeah, you're not feeling hopeful or optimistic. Some of y'all are dealing with an Aquarius. Some of you need... Some of y'all need some childhood wounding here, or you have childhood wounds that you're that that's what's coming up for you, and and Scorpio season will do that to you. So if you're feeling uh, Scorpio or Scorpio if, Gemini, if y'all are feeling um, emotional, um, you know if you in Star card too, y'all could feel like man that never pa panned out. You know I had this dream, I had this goal, and and it didn't work out, or maybe it hasn't worked out yet, but I feel like this is deep-seated, like something you wanted. I'm hearing from childhood for some of you, um, and you're, you're like remembering that right now, but with that page of pentacles, um, with the page of pentacles, I feel like you're, um, you have like a new idea. You have like a new way you want to go about something. Spirit, what else is going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Yes. Let's get more out, more out. Tell me more about this. We have the full and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse. Nine of Cups. We have this, oh yeah, oh yeah, strength in reverse. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Let's get the rest of the cards out before I say anything else. Ten of Pentacles, yes. Anything else for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I'm going to straighten these in a second. My OCD is going crazy. It doesn't like how not straight they are. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm getting so excited. Let's get that last card out. There it is. Look who's, look who's last, right? Okay, beautiful. Bottom of the deck, nine of pentacles in reverse. All right. Gemini. Okay, so yeah, some of y'all right now at the beginning of the month, especially in this heavy scorpionic energy, you're just like, what the heck is going on? I don't feel like, um, you know, my dreams are coming in or my what I've wished and was hoping for, um, you know, but that's just like a feeling that you have and like, you know what? Psh I need to jump into this. I need to jump into something new, drop off that baggage, drop off that emotional um, weight that I've been carrying around and, and look at this from a fresh new perspective. Um, some of you have a fresh new idea about something and this is right over the 10 of Pentacles. So I'm definitely feeling like you're jumping into a new situation, could be a new romantic relationship for some of you but this could also be a new um a new business a new job or a new home a family home for some of you that you could be going home going to a family home moving to something about your you're starting a new path right now and this is where you're going to ten of pentacles you're going to i'm hearing promised land you're going to your promised land you're going to your promised land where you have it all. You have the career, the connection, the home, the, the everything. Okay. So let's keep going with this. Then we have the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Six of Cups in reverse. And I feel like for some of you, if you're feeling, if you're, if the emotions that you're feeling right now from things from your past are about someone from your childhood, this could be, um, this could be about siblings or, 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 or something from your past for some of you. But I feel honestly like a soulmate love connection for some of you, um, and that there is no more love with that person. Like they don't want another chance. And for some of you, you're like dipping, like you're remembering that oops these go over here that you're remembering that just a little bit and you're like wow I really thought that I was destined for that or destined and cups do talk about creativity as well that maybe this could and these are general this could be 
um, you know, please take this how this resonates for you. Um, this could be about a relationship, especially with the soulmates card here in reverse. It could be about someone that you were connected to, um, that you grew up with, that sometimes when you think about them, you're like, wow, we really could have had something special, but something didn't work out and it's for a higher reason, right? Because you're meant to take this new path of abundance new path of abundance new path of abundance this is where you're going whatever happened in the past was meant to happen please don't feel regretful or feel like you did anything wrong okay um but yeah definitely y'all are feeling um i feel cancer energy here for y'all and i almost literally forgot that this was on the table which is the card of cancer um we have the chariot here which is about moving forward in a positive direction and you want to put your your energy your money your effort um of what you've learned recently about yourself because you've gotten balanced. You've learned how to balance out your energies. We're not too much in the black. We're not too much in the white. We got a little bit of both. We have um, the medical. I always see, whenever I see this, I see, um, I think of like the emergency vehicles. Um, like the little cross on there. Anyway, so some of you are definitely in the driver's seat. You're definitely propelling and moving forward. Maybe um, think about making more money or something like that as well but this is really 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 beautiful energy you're feeling very um uplifted you have so many beautiful ideas okay let's talk about this over here we have the nine of cups which is beautiful with the strength card in reverse strength card is the card of leo so some of you are dealing with a leo or are super done with a leo or an aquarius um and, and you've found your inner happiness, right? Um, for some of you, it took a lot of strength for you to find this and it, it's maybe taken a minute, but you've realized that life is about making choices and being happy right now in the moment that things from your past yes we can think about those and we can be excited yes and know what's coming in our future but the real real important thing to take note here is to live right now in this moment because that's really all we have right and i feel like for some of you like that's what you've overcome like that's what you've you've had to overcome is knowing that I also feel like we're gonna go a little bit back to the what I was saying with the beginning with the generational stuff. I will definitely say with the star card in reverse and strength card in reverse and the queen of cups in reverse and then you right here with the nine of cups, I feel like a motherly or fatherly, like a paternal energy that something that you see in your parents or something in how you were raised is that's what you're changing um, either with yourself in this generation or with the children that you have and you're starting like a new trend or or you're not doing something that like mom and dad used to do um, you're like I'm not going to do that and for some of you again you're um, with the six of cups yeah I'm getting confirmation you're like you know what I just don't feel like I want to have have children I want to you know I want to stop that altogether, okay? And there's no right or wrong answer if you want to have children or not. That's for some of you, and for some of you, it's not, okay? So there's no right or wrong there. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Gorgeous energy. I feel like for a lot of you, too, with the Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and then we have the Ten here, um, that you are maybe working towards your own business, too. Like, Nine of Pentacles is entrepreneur energy, lots of Capricorn energy here. I'm going to show it to you in the upright so we don't look crazy. Um, but this is at the bottom of the deck. This is, for a lot of you, you already have your own business or a side business or side project that maybe you've, like, put it off a little bit and you might with the page of pentacles you're like oh you know what i think i can revamp you know i need to revamp my my business or my career or what i do in my job maybe i can add on another project and it'll make me some more money like you're definitely interested in um <laughs> you know making a little bit more money which is very very good um but you definitely have it and you will get it you will get it you have the right ideas because that's confirmed here with the ten of pentacles <laughs> so beautiful beautiful reading lots of um gorgeous energy around you um i definitely feel like your happiness is your number one your happiness is your number one like if you don't like i'm hearing what is that what is that saying? If if uh, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy, whether you're a male or female, or if daddy ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. But you know what I mean? I feel like right now, Gemini, like you feel that way. You're like, you know what? If I'm not happy, ain't nobody ha happy. But not, not that you're pulling other people down. That's not what I mean. But you're just, you're, I'm just saying that kind of um, lightly, meaning that you're, 
your value system, your the way that you show up for yourself is speaking volumes, okay? I definitely feel that for sure. And um, for some of you, you've definitely overcome. I feel this, I feel this with the Nine of Cups to the Strength card in reverse to the Ten of Pentacles and then boom, to the Chariot moving on and then doing your own thing. It's like, I also just, again, with the generational thing, feel like, you know, something in me, something in the way I was taught or raised or a trait I picked up or something going on with my grandparents or my parents or my something in the family is toxic, okay? And that you're like, you know what? In my new family, my generation, whatever, whether you have kids or not, you're like, uh-uh. Uh uh, we're gonna learn how to make our individual selves happy so that we don't we don't tear each other apart this time. Or I don't know, it's like something like that. Um, yeah, very very like family history is coming in here for a lot of you. And look at you, you're feeling confident. You're like, you know what? Da 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 da. I did it. I listened to my intuition. I got healthy. I got balanced. Boom, now I can do anything. I can put my energy wherever I want to put it, right? Beautiful. Oh my God, Gemini. Gorgeous reading. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and we're going to go to your love reading. So if you're interested, it's the link below. But if this is where we part, Gemini, I love y'all so freaking much. Y'all are huge supporters of my channel. Just thank you again for everything. Like, share, subscribe, donations, all the beautiful things. My world doesn't go around without y'all. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Loving y'all so much. See y'all soon.